Today's news is sponsored by American Retirement Systems, providing competitive solutions for agents and advisors. For more information, visit AmericanRetirementSystems.com. Now for today's headlines. The trade deficit in the U.S. in June expanded to $49.9 billion, the highest level since October 2008. This is compared with forecasts of a $42.1 billion deficit, according to economists surveyed by Bloomberg. Throughout the month examined, the trade gap climbed $7.9 billion, the most significant increase since the Department of Commerce began tracking such data in 1992. The Mortgage Bankers Association reports that 30-year loan rates last week fell to 4.57 percent, the lowest level in 20 years. This contract rate, which excludes added lender fees and points, was down from 4.60 percent the week previous and 5.38 percent compared to the same period last year. Meanwhile, findings indicate that in the period examined, mortgage purchase and refinancing applications rose by less than 1 percent. The price per barrel for oil this morning dipped below $79 amid concerns related to demand of the commodity. The Energy Information Administration this morning announced that U.S. stockpiles of gasoline and distillates were higher than anticipated for the week ended Friday, August 6. Though crude oil stockpiles had fallen by 3 million barrels, a larger figure than anticipated, demand for products fell. For more on the industry, visit ProducersWeb.com. <laughs>